Hey my lovely angels, welcome back to my channel. This is Shushmita and today I'll be creating this very beautiful and very easy cranberry eye makeup look. Now if you are a beginner uh, in makeup then this is a perfect video for you because this eye makeup look doesn't need uh, too much of product and it's very easy to create. And I uh, with this look I wore this very beautiful pink color lipstick. So yeah if you want to know how I create this look then please continue watching. So guys, as you have met through the title that this eye makeup will be very easy, I'll be using very few products. So yeah, let's get started. Now for the first product which I'll be using for the base of my eyes is this Sugar Smudge Me Not Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Wine and Shine. I'll be using a lipstick today as a base. Now this lipstick is very much pigmented so make sure you apply a very small amount and it quickly dries up. So um, smudge it and blend it uh, on the surface of your eyelids as quick as possible now take a clean blending brush and before the lipstick dries up uh, i'll just uh, diffuse the color so you can see guys the color has beautifully diffused and now i'll just quickly finish up the second eye so yes, both my eyes are done. So I forgot to mention that I've already completed my eyebrows uh, off camera and I have also moisturized my face uh, using this Juicy Chemistry uh, Urban Rose and Camellia Seed uh, Moisturizer with Natural uh, SPF Serum or you can say it's a facial eye. Now I'll take this uh, Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette and from there I'll be using this shade Saffron from the palette and I'll just uh, blend the color over this lipstick so I'm slowly building up the color so if you can see uh, the difference between both the eyes that um, this has turned into a beautiful cranberry color and this one is yet a beautiful wine shade now I'll just quickly finish off this eye too uh, now uh, I'm almost done with my eye makeup and now I just color correct my face because recently I have developed few marks and black spots. So for that as usual I'll be using this My Glam uh, FF Total Makeover palette and from there I'll be using this orange concealer and I'll just apply it using my fingers on the dark spots and dark circles areas. Now uh, for the foundation, I'll be using this um, Maybelline Fit Me foundation. This is their matte poreless uh, foundation and it has got a very beautiful uh, velvety matte finish to it. Now uh, truly to speak, this is my holy grail product and I always have a backup of this in my um, makeup stash. So uh, I'll just apply few dots of this foundation all over my face using my fingertips, something like this. So a uh, small tip, uh, before uh, applying any foundation or using any foundation, shake well, uh, like in medicine, uh, shake the bottle well so that everything gets mixed again and then apply the foundation or start using the foundation. Now uh, I'll take this uh, sponge and I'll start bouncing it on my face and I'll start blending this foundation. Now for highlighting my face, I'll be using this uh, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade medium and I'll, and I'll highlight my uh, high points of my face. Also apply it on the chin and the nose and on the forehead and, and blend out everything. Uh, now to set everything in, I'll be using this Maybelline White Super Fresh Compact. This is in the shade Shell and I'll just apply it all over my face. 262. And now since I haven't cream contoured, uh, I'll apply a bronzer to give more warmth and to like give more dimension and 
to give it a more sculpting look now for that i'll be using this nyx uh, matte bronzer this is in the shade deep tan and And uh, now I'll uh, contour my nose uh, using the same bronzer. So yes, and uh, now I'll put some blush. And for that I'll be using this Milani Baked Blush. Uh, this is in the shade Red Vino. And now for highlighting my face, I'll be using this uh, very beautiful uh, shade Angelic from this uh, Huda Beauty palette. And I'll use this to highlight my brow bone area and the high points of my face. Now since I'm done with my face, I'll be returning back to my eyes and for the inner corner highlight, I'll be using this very beautiful shade known as Turkish Delight. I'll highlight the inner corner of my eyes. And the next step is to tighten my upper eyelids and for that I'll be using the L'Oreal Kajal Mujik and I'll just tighten my upper Today for eyeliner, I'll be using this uh, L'Oreal Gel Intensa 36 hour eyeliner in the shade Profound Black. I'm using this after a very long time and guys, if you are pro with your eyeliner and you don't have those uh, shaky hands to draw your eyeliner and if you think that uh, and if you want your eyeliner to stay for ages, guys, then this is your product. Now I'll take this eyeliner on this uh, brush which comes along with this eyeliner and I'll start drawing it by your wing so, okay I'm done with my eyeliner now I'm I want a small wing in a corner wing so for that I'll be using this uh, color bar all matte eyeliner and I'll draw a small in a corner wing And now for our uh, mascara, I'll be using this uh, Maybelline for the Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. So yes guys, now I'm only left with lipstick and for that I'll be using this Color Bar uh, lipstick. This is from their Feel the Rain collection and it is in the shade Lightning. This is a very beautiful uh, kind, uh, pinkish kind of nude shade. And this has got a small story along with it. Now, uh, there's a Facebook page uh, which is called Makeup Lifestyle of Elite People. And now, this page always runs a contest, and its owner, I mean, its admin is Debarati Di. She also has a brand which is known as Royally Homemade, where she sells uh, products which are handmade and purely herbal. Uh, and they are chemical free paraben free she hand makes them and her products are a delight to use so do check them out i have put the links below in the description box and yes so i won there this lipstick there was a contest running on about some unusual lipstick color and i wore a blue lipstick and i won the contest which was a very proud moment for me so yeah i'll be using this lipstick today now since this lipstick is in very pinkish nude color i what i so what i'll do is i'll line my lips uh, using a deep lipstick that i'll be using this sugar uh, matters her lip crown in the shade violet crawly i'll just use this lipstick to line my lips or like i'll use it as a lip liner and then i'll apply the lipstick and then i'll use this lipstick
Yes, I'm done. And to set this whole thing in place and to make it last for more longer time, I'll be using as usual my Makeup Fixer by Revolution, Makeup Revolution. This is the Pro Fix Illuminating Makeup Fixing Spray. I'll just spray this uh, fixer onto my face. Now I'll just uh, let it quickly dry up and the only thing I'm left is with a false lash and here my struggle begins. So yeah, let it dry and today I'll try to put my false lash on the camera. Okay. I really don't know if I'll be successful in wearing my lashes all by myself or not. But guys, I'll try out. Uh, okay guys, so for glue, I use this um, Ardell Lash Grip, gl Lash Grip Glue. Uh, this is their eyelash adhesive and this is in the sh uh, this is their black adhesive. Best of luck to me. So hopefully uh, I have placed my lashes at the right place now uh, with the second eye. I'm good with everything. I won't say I'm best with everything but I would say I'm good with everything but this lashes, false lashes just sucks. Like I just don't know why but they irritate me the most. So yeah, somehow I managed to do this and on camera. So congratulations to me and like drum rolls for me. So, so yeah, I'll just quickly finish off my hair. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. I'll just come back. Anyways, guys, so I hate doing my hair and I hate doing my false lashes. What do you hate? Like, what are your weakness in doing makeup? What do you hate? For me, it's my hair and my false lashes as you guys know. But do mention uh, your weakness in makeup in the comment section below. I'd love to know that. So yeah, here we come uh, to the end of this wonderful video. Hope you enjoyed this. If so, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share it with all your friends. And yes, do follow me on all my social media channels and on my blog whose links are below in the description box. I'll see you next Sunday. Till then, stay happy, stay blessed and stay gorgeous. Bye-bye.